بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ لیٹس ریوائو دی اسپرٹ آف رمدان ود اکنا سسٹرز If this century's pandemic and the countless morally depraved actions of societies have taught us anything to prepare for Ramadan, it is to prepare for Ramadan as it's right. The way prescribed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran and modeled by the example of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wa alihi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum usiyamu kama kutiba ala ladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. O believers, fasting is prescribed for you as it was for those before you. So perhaps you will become mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Chapter 2, verse 183. This is the time to focus more on quality versus quantity. If we truly desire the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then the time has now come to establish our connection with Him. Let's master the art of having a more mindful Ramadan by being successful in our worship and by serving the community at large. Take a look at our own self and identify our weaknesses and strive to overcome them in this special month. The month of Ramadan is about taking a comprehensive approach rather than checking off a long list of goals that may or may not be achieved. The month-long fasting helps us to focus on three different angles simultaneously. Number one, self-improvement. Number two, community betterment. Number three, social justice. For self-improvement, we are to discipline ourselves in a manner that would help us focus on the essence of the fasting and all it entails. Rearing ourselves of primary needs for a few hours and keeping the bigger picture in mind allow us to have a more meaningful relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which leads to a more meaningful and healthier Ramadan. Community betterment requires we address the needs of the less fortunate, especially our Muslim brothers and sisters, and uplift not only their circumstances, but our standard of giving and assisting as well. Where injustices prevail in our communities and society, Muslims will identify and relate to the plight of the oppressed people. Let's maximize our productivity in Ramadan and focus on what gives our ibadah that special quality. No matter if this is our first Ramadan or 30th Ramadan, we will still prep our minds, bodies, and souls for a 29 or 30 day training period unlike any other. We live in a time of instant gratification in which all we want comes to us at lightning speeds. This blessed month of Ramadan teaches us to slow down and to enjoy the present moment. Enjoy the duas that we are earnestly making to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Enjoy the sadaqah that we ever so discreetly drop in the donation box. Enjoy the moments we sit with our families as we partake in the sahur and iftar meals. Let's take the time to absorb it all and let it impact us for much longer than just one month. This Ramadan, let's strive for our best in the akhirah. It is not about what we do, but how we go about doing it. Let that be our goal and leave the rest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Please join Ikna sister in their journey through the Quran sessions. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.